Hi friends, this is Gail, Fava of Four. I'm finally going to do that haul video I've been saying for the last week. And I've had it sitting out here. And I have an appointment to get my teeth cleaned in an hour or so. I'll probably be fast. To be honest with you, I don't feel that great. Um, I don't know why. I'm, I'm not afraid of this knee surgery. And my sister, younger sister, texted me today and told me I'm making a circus out of this whole thing. Everybody has their knees done. Um, but I wake up and my blood pressure is just like, I, I can't calm myself down. I don't know why. I'm not afraid. It's like counting down the days or something, though. And uh, I already took two extra blood pressure pills, a couple Xanax. Uh, I just took three ibuprofen because I've been trying not to take the pain pills so that when I have the operation, those will work better. But I think I may take half one. Maybe that's the reason. I don't know. Pain causes high blood pressure, the doctor said. So I called my family practice doctor, and he's busy. And of course, I start crying as usual. And I mean, my blood pressure was like, Two, almost 200 over um, over 102 and my pulse was 75 and it hasn't come down that much so anyway I mean I feel calmer but still, still not you know reading very well so I guess I'm a drama queen I don't know I think it's the whole idea of being here myself and no one to, uh, I don't know, get your mind off of it. Anyway, last week I, um, there were so many neat garage sales and uh, estate sales, but like I said, I couldn't really get to them. But we have a neighborhood app and I would go on there and I'd type in there if anybody had, you know, certain things and, and some people did come through for me. First of all, I'm going to show you a couple little things I was just fooling around making since I can't do much else. I mean, just, just looking at butterflies. Oh, that's hanging down. Let me just see if this is the doctor's office. Nope. I was going to shut it off, but she was going to try to get him to call me. Because I said, can he do something like knock me out until next Wednesday or something? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I made this. I just happened to get on something where they were making butterflies. And I've made other ones, but this is different. It's just two little doilies I had. And here's a little stick pin. Actually... I think Roxy Carr made that stick pin. And then, of course, every time I pass something in the craft room, it looks like it could be a butterfly. So this, I took off of a, um, a sprig of flowers. These were the leaves. <laughs> and then I made this one. Seems like it's missing something, but... I was just fooling around. I think I made a few other things. Oh, I've been working on that kit from um, Annie. Uh, MS Garden Grove. The one that has the doilies and the handles. Let me tell you, when I got that in the mail, it was like me and directions. I'm like, what? What is this? What do I do? So then I figured it out. Okay. First, I'm going to show you, um, so I can get these out of the way, all these tassels that I got. I mean, I bought the, I bought the, um, 
the, the uh, vintage crocheted spread from her and everything else she just gave me in a bag and she says she has tons more and greens and blues and golds and I have some of my own so if anyone needs tassels let me know pretty colors. I'll just have to use them on more projects, I guess. Another black one. This one. Another green one. They're big ones, too. It's a small purple one. It's like a silverish. Gray. And a little purple one. Another olive color probably more in there I just I'll go through this stuff first and then all this roping braid look at this then this which you can use for a roping she cut it off something, obviously. Uh, this, I really like this because I don't have any this type. And she cut it off something. I'm doing this out on the patio because that's kind of where I dropped everything when I came in from getting it. Here's some more blue. And some more blue. With the braiding. Uh -huh. This. That I don't have any of that. Okay, then look at this. It's leather, I believe, or fake leather. I don't know, but it looks like leather. But it, there's all this. She cut it off something. She does beautiful things. Not the same things, but she crafts, and so she's more of an artist. I took a picture of this Christmas tree. She designed and made and still making it's so gorgeous and um, it's from all vintage jewelry from her mother her aunts grandmother it is beautiful okay oh, got some of this some red pom-poms pretty much This it's pretty. It reminds me of a gypsy color. And this probably a good three yards. Not pretty. And then Oh, I don't know. One, two, three, four feet. I don't know. I'm not very good at that. And look at this. I can't even really look at everything very well, but I really like this. There's probably a yard, maybe a little more. And another piece. Different? No. And another piece. I really like this. And some more of the leather. And then this. She probably took it off of something, maybe. It's probably about three yards of this.
this. A lot of these things she gave me, I'll have to see which ones. I don't know if it was, this one does look like it. She sat and watched her grandmother knit it. I mean, crochet it. Crochet, knit, no. Knit it. I mean, it's so tiny. I think this was, she said her grandmother could do anything. And she's the one that made the uh, spreads. And I know I got four all together a couple weeks ago, but I think I showed you two. Look at this. The correct whole thing of it. She said she hasn't even started cleaning out her closets yet, but she will call me. Very, very nice lady. She has an African, she has a small apartment, but let me tell you, it is immaculate for the animals that she has. She's got, she rescues. She's got a little dog. She's got an African gray, which is, I used to have one. It's a, um, what do you call them? Cockatoo, they, they talk anyway, they're big. They, they live about 80 years. And we had one, and it's funny, I'm, I like animals, but I'm not what you'd call like this big animal lover. And every animal loves me, and I don't care where I go, what I buy. And her, her dog was, you know, after me, and she even has this aquarium that only has, it's like, I don't know, it's not a lizard, but it's a gecko, I think, in it. I guess it had to be um, saved. And then, the African gray it looked a little bit like baby mine, but I knew better than to put my finger in there because their beaks are so strong that you can bite your finger right off. And he always liked me. He'd get to, I, if I put him outside his cage, and they have huge cages, he'd get down, walk, walk up my leg, you know. Oh, drove me crazy actually. But he was pretty good with the kids. Just give me this piece of ribbon. another and another and a little piece of like a tie or so and then this isn't this pretty silver and black silver yeah it's probably about one two and a half yards or three Okay, maybe I should just go ahead and do this other stuff first. I did get some yarn. I don't... Let me know if... Otherwise, I'm going to... I don't really crochet anymore, and I, and I have a bunch. So I'm going to give it... Put in a Goodwill bag. Unless somebody's really in dire need. Ugh. I told you I didn't really go through it all. A little bit. Pretty. I've seen the yellow ones, but I haven't seen any blue. This is about two yards. And look at this. How much this there is. Isn't that pretty? Showing you the right side? I don't know. It's poke. Yeah, I guess so. Kind of the same on both sides. But it's all of this. It's pink dots, green, blue. Looks like something. You can put on anything, but it looks like maybe something was for a child or a baby. And look at all this. I wrapped it around here. Isn't that pretty? She probably took this off of something. Just, I don't know. It was crocheted, it looks like. It's kind of like a wool.
this um, what did I just call it uh, well you know what I mean look at all this she took it off of something like a bind like a an edging More gold rook rack. Six feet self stick braid. This was all 98 cents. Western novelties. Chatsworth, California. And then this some um, bias tape. Red, gold, elastic, uh, rook rack yellow. More yellow, pink, pink, I mean dark pink, pink, and some really pretty seam binding. Look at that. I don't know if I've ever seen it. And the color is only $1.15, stretch lace. I hope I'm not going too fast for you. Okay, and then there were these little doodads. I think she embroidered or sewed on things. And here's a bee. Who has a bee? In their name. I think. And then she cut this. You can tell. She, she doesn't let anything go to waste. And that's what I was telling people the other day. Day. Well, I didn't tell them, but I did a comment on one of my minor Roxy cars. You know, people say, oh, I don't have this and I don't have that. I mean, things you have on, things you... I go to the throw in Goodwill. Actually, there's one thing I bought. It was like a nightgown. And I used to always wear these long nightgowns. It was short, you know, sleeveless, and it was silk, and it had pinks in it. But it was too big up here, and I didn't want to throw so I put like rubber bands around it. And then I thought, you know, I'm gonna clean out my stuff. So I took it and I threw it in a good little bag. And I thought, what am I doing? I bought that to cut up. So I took it back out. Just because there are a lot of things, including I think this top, that I've gotten at the thrift stores and stuff to cut up. Not this, but that I'm gonna, that I just make a nice flower that I end up wearing. Okay. A little piece of this. We have some embroidery cotton. And more. And more. And more. And I guess that's what I don't know what that is, if, if that's what it is or if it's a sewing. It's pretty thick. Okay. Look at these. Do you know what? I never use these on projects. And you know how many I have? Because I can't get them on right. And I bought things and my sister bought me something I need to try. She uses for her quilts for embroidery some kind of a hot thing and it sticks. I don't know. I just haven't tried it yet. I don't, I don't know. Patience isn't my virtue. As you can tell. Look at this. Pink ribbon. Cut that piece off. 
I can only imagine when she goes into her uh, closet. I just love that stuff. Okay, here's yellow, blue, and green. Two ply, 100% nylon, plastic canvas yarn. I think maybe this is when people use those plastic things. But I would think you could use it for anything. Ribbon, pretty blue. Disney trim. Looks like Mickey Mouse. Yeah, they both look like Mickey Mouse. Blanket binding. Well, you could use this for anything. Flowers. Piece of felt. Like somebody started to make this and some little pieces of stuff. A little bit of white yarn. This would be the worst thing. Getting the yarn and then having to have somebody hold it. Of course, now you don't have to do that, but I still screwed up. Um, Showed you this red yarn and then all these colors. If anybody would like it, the yarn would have come, you know, says something first. There's a K. Let me know because I know I won't be using the yarn. And here's a few more pieces of. Odds and ends. Here's the red piece of salt. A couple little flowers. Just some little dribs and drabs of ribbon and pieces. Well, she kept everything, didn't she? A little white spool of yarn. Oh, talking about schools. <sighs> well, I don't know if I can take it out of here, but there's all kinds of colors of these schools, and here's some bigger ones. I wish she had some of the, I told her I really was interested in the wooden ones, which is mostly what she gave me. But I would have liked some of those really big ones. But, spools, you think that's a lot. Oh, elastic. These are rings or whatever. More rings. More rings. Belt loops. Two of them. Pins. A couple decorative ones. A couple of the baby ones like we used to use for diapers. Ducky pin. Hey, what's all this? Oh, this is Christmas ribbon. Oh, so I need more eyeballs. But I don't think I have that size. These are all eyeballs. So 
some little round balls for Christmas. And a little bit of, looks like she was started to make something. Like, yeah, the faces. I don't know. Looks like a rat. Hem and trim fusing tape. That's what I need. I have this just old dress I wear around the house, but it's too long. Let me see if I show you this. Okay, look at this. Look at these spools. 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 All wooden. Oh, here's a plastic one. These are all the bigger sizes. Spools. There's got to be a hundred in here. And some have... Oh, look, a green one. Pretty cool. And there's one, a little odd one. I like the odd ones. I mean, there has to be a hundred in here. And... Hooks. Look, we even have some nuts. So if anybody needs any spools, just I'm on Messenger mostly. That how that seems better because then I can find out if I have anything. Otherwise, I have to check my comments, but I can do that too. And then this piece she'd taken off of something. And then. this war pins you know what I need and there's probably not one in here because I break every single one I have and I can't see the thread and needle but all my threaders break so if anyone knows one to get I even bought a long one with this big it broke the other day I guess I, they can't make the wire too thick or it wouldn't go through but and I know I have some more somewhere, but I couldn't find them. So these all have thread on them, pins, needles. Some buttons, a few. She's a sewer, not a glue couple um, sewing things, a little ruler, and that's all in here. Then, oh, two of these, and these are both the same, so I can make something out of it, like a pouch or pocket purse or something. It was nice. I washed everything. And I came home and set it all out here to dry. This one, I don't know if you saw this one or if I've had this one in a while. I was trying to figure it out, but I've been cutting it up. This one, too, I don't know if I showed you or not. I think, I don't know if she gave me this one or not. I think maybe she did. It's as big as like a twin bed. This, I think this, I don't know. This is one of the ones. There were four, I know. She gave me two. Look at this one. Look at the pinwheels. I really like that. it up because I'd already sent a few to some somebody. Cool. Then, you know, I took this out of my drawer because I have three sticking in the drawer that I never took out because I thought 
they didn't really have a design. But when you look at this, it really does. First of all, look what nice trim it has. And second of all, look at that square. Now that's a nice design. Especially, you know, if you want to make a book or something. So I took that. But I have three more that I threw back in the drawer. And then she gave me this little crochet thing somebody had, probably her grandmother made. She said, do you want this? And I said, sure. And then this one. This was a huge, heavy one. I think this was the one I paid her for. And actually, it's got some stains on it, but look, that one looks like it's just like a chocolate color. But the rest of it is this. And look at those pretty. I did cut one out. Like, you can cut this whole flower out. And then I cut one out just like this. Or you can just cut that middle out. See? Isn't that cool? The more you look, you know, the more designs you can see. And, you, and this, this just weighs a ton. Sometimes I forget, and I know when people make things or have heirlooms, you know, they don't want to hear that you're cutting anything up. And I think that's why there are a couple more things. Now, I don't need, I, but I can't help myself. You know, since I couldn't go to any of those garage sales, you know, I, I put in the, our app what I'd like and for people to look for for me, and they did. And I got them. But I'm like, Gail, what do you need all these for? I got this. But I like to share. Oh, wait. This this is the piece de resistance. First, I got to show you this. I bought this at Costco and it had cookies in it. And of course, I ate all the cookies. And I had just bought one at Goodwill in white, thinking, oh, this is cool. I can do something with this. Not that I need any more, look, that's why I ate them all, containers. But I don't know whether I should keep these, they're heavy, and do something with them. I have a white one sitting in there. I guess I should. It would be foolish to give them away. I should alter it, huh? A little. I guess you could put coffee in after or something, but I have enough of that stuff, too. Um, well, here's one of the things I cut out of that square one. Now, I had never heard of this before. You some of you probably have. Diana Bacchus told me um, what they were. And it didn't do them justice on the picture she sent me. I didn't know what they were, but I guess they're made out of sand, crushed rocks, real finely crushed rocks, and paint. And she said her mother and, and her would make these. And she showed me at home that her mother played bridge. And so she would make her, you know, when you play bridge, you have the little tally card. Well she would make the tally cards like this. This is how pretty. Look at this. Now, how does somebody make something like that? Look, what she, what she did was, though, I mean, I don't have a tally card, but you know what the tally card looks like. And she, each person's had a design on it. Look. Violet Pierce. Maybe that was one of the, part of the ladies. She said, you want them? I said, yes. A dogwood and a daffodil. She has more. I mean, these just put me in awe. Gardenia, a single rose and a double rose. It's like something you would buy, but you can't buy them. Look at these.
magic sand paint and I looked it up on Google and um, Diana told me that the sailors now I don't know if they could buy them I'm sure they didn't make them uh, used to send them to their sweethearts on Valentine's Day or maybe it was vice versa I don't know and I forget well what I typed in was flowers made with salt I mean with sand crushed rocks and paint look at this wouldn't someone love to get that in a on one of their um, <sighs> tags Roxy's probably loving this look at this I mean patience look at that I mean, anybody who crochets that fine little, and that was crocheted, that one, that fine little stuff has to have patience. Sweet pea and swirl rose. I hope maybe one day she'll give me more. There's a few laying here in the bottom. I don't know if that's how you attach them. Somehow you must because there's, look, she put one on a shell. She put that on a shell. And she's got some little ones in here. Got a bunch of these little snail shells. Can you see them? And a couple numbers here. Now that's awesome. This is really like to me awesome and like a collector's item. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Everything. Um, she did send a package of Christmas stuff, which I have pretty many. I might keep some some of the stuff. These look like they they're ready to be altered. Some of the bows. I used to have a ton of these. Some balls. You can make some money. Look at that one. And candle. So I think I got it all in. And I have to leave. I don't know if any of you watched um Steve Harvey's little big shots on Sunday night, those kids, the talented kids. Well, there was one on there last night that sang. I think he was the one that sang, sang. I don't know. But he asked him where he lived and he said Cleveland by 112th. He says, I just want you to know that because now it's called Steve Harvey Way because that's where Steve Harvey is from. Well, I was born on East 99th Street, a couple blocks away. Well, and Steve Harvey's going, you live on 112th? And then he said, well, on Fairhill, oh, you live up the hill. Because it's not a very good area to go in. And a lot of crime and stuff. I moved when I was in kindergarten 
and went to Oliver Wendell Holmes um, kindergarten. It was only half a day. But anyway, I thought that was kind of cool because Steve Harvey and, you know, Bob Hope's from Cleveland and it's not the mistake on the lake after all, you know. And I still go back and a lot of my family is still there. Well, oh, I know one other thing I wanted to say. You know, when people were saying they couldn't find things, I wanted to show you different things I have found in the past. Not just the Goodwill, but that I've had. I bought this because it was so pretty, but you usually don't have to wear much of this stuff here. But look at this pretty scarf with the pink. Isn't that beautiful? So one of these days I'll start to cut it up. This I had to get just because it had the peacocks on it. And actually yesterday, and it's got this trim, which I did use for my hanger, for my gypsy thing. And it's got this velvet, which I used yesterday. This I just had there, and look, there's stuff at the bottom you could use. This scarf I've had forever. People used to always buy scarves. Look, pretty. You almost hate to do anything with them, but I'll, this one out. But I just wanted to show them that if you look around, there's something in your house. Your kids' clothes you're going to get rid of. Your you know, whatever. And then this blue one. And I um, and I bought these just because they were so pretty. This is also a uh, peacock. Isn't that pretty? And look at that trim. Isn't that gorgeous? The beads on the bottom. So, if you go into any of the thrift stores and you see scarves, um, let me see, is that it? And this one, isn't that pretty? It's like a velvet. And it's got this black trim. But, you know, after you use them for a while, if you don't want them, I can't tell you how many I've probably given to Goodwill, but like I said, you just don't think. And, and blouses and anything that has lace or trim or buttons or cover buttons or, a, you know, a nice, a different collar or in that bag I'm making from um, Annie. I, remember that one dress I bought just for the flowers? It was a big one with about four of them and then there was another flower. Well, the one flower I used on the back, you should see how pretty it looks. So, don't say you can't find anything. I mean, I even ask my neighbors, or if I see them have a top on that I like, has Battenberg or lace or something, I say, you know what, don't get rid of that. When you're done with it, give it to me. You have to open your mouth. You don't have to go buy stuff, really and truly. Okay, guys, I'm sorry to rush, but I have to go get my teeth cleaned. It's one of those things you feel like you should do before because I won't be able to do it probably for a little while after. I hope you all had a nice Easter. And this probably will be my last thing before I go next Wednesday. But, um, and I hope I haven't been too melodramatic about this knee. But that's just the way it's gone and that's the way I feel. So take me or leave me. Okay, love you, bye.